All right, so today was the first proper uphill mountain top finish of the Tour de France. It was La, Ponche, La Super Planche de Belfi. It's basic Planche de Belfi with a little bit longer on the gravel. Poggy won, unfortunately. It really is a boring race when Poggy and Wout well, win about every single stage. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're going to have a look at the Waspakilo, have a look at how good these people are and all the rest of it. So any outstanding results? Not really. Um, I was surprised some people like Nida Man lost 50 seconds, same with Mindkeys, but... They basically all lost, lost, left it. Sorry, lost it on the last little bit in the gravel section. So anyway, we're going to go over to Sepp Kuss's ride now. Sepp Kuss finished in ninth. Uh, sorry, no, he didn't. He finished in tenth place, forty-one seconds down. So a decent approximation. None of these guys are going to upload power ahead of them, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to make do with Sepp Kuss. So overall, two hundred ninety-two normalized for four hours is is decent for these guys, but nothing absolutely thermonuclear. It looked like a hard start. It actually was decent, I guess, 290 normalized, but nothing like crazy. Obviously, Sepp Kuz is quite small, like 61 kilos, but, you know, first climb, 5.4. Again, nothing crazy. This climb, 5.5 for like 7 minutes. So really, like, not much um, for these guys at all. This was more of like a long drag. That was like a 5, so probably a little bit harder. Um, the run into the climb is always interesting. This bit here actually is harder than you think, like 337 watts for five minutes. And that, you know, just saps the legs enough um, for the start of the climb that makes it more of like a 25 minute effort than anything else. So you can see it at 6.1 for 24 minutes. Now, when we get onto the actual climb, uh, this is sort of the first part. It's better to do all the way to the top of the climb, but we'll go into the segment data a little bit easier, but a little bit later. So here's his 6.2. Now it's always interesting to know that like people's power meters, you know, vary slightly here and there. Um, I've got some other numbers that people reckon is the truth, but 1800 VAM is is quick. There's no doubt about it. That is very fast. Nine percent, 20k an hour. The thing to note about the climb, if you watched it today, was there was no one attacking. So there was zero attacks. It was actually like a hard pace. So the draft you get like it was like four or five wide. Um, you know quite a lot of the peloton there was only like the front three that were really in this uh, in a line everyone else was like four or five wide so the sit you're going to get is crazy and also the speed of it means that it's a bit like hard to what spikilo it because you think there's these really fast sections where you literally do like zero watts but obviously the guy on the front's doing a lot um so if we look like on the longer straight apart so this 2k at 10 percent you know he's only doing 6.1 to go 18k an hour at that and i can i can promise you if you do 6.1 what spikilo uh, up a 10% climb, you're not going to go 18k an hour. You might go 16, 17, but 18 is like mm, very quick. And that just goes to show the drafting is big. Maybe there's a tailie as well. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but that doesn't really matter too much because the watts here, I'm, I'm pretty confident. I, I checked with Nielsen Paulus, who had similar as well. It was only 6.2, which is not that crazy. Okay, he lost 40 seconds, but he didn't lose 40 seconds on the first part. Like this first part here, he was doing 6.2. So everyone's doing 6.2 up here. Um, in the wheels uh, so again it's not the most crazy performance and then if we look at the last part so it sort of goes uphill downhill and then gets onto this gravel part like the last K all on gravel you can see Poggy was driving it quite hard so it's actually quite easy in the wheel like 20k an hour 300 watts the time they really lost time uh, to Poggy was on this last part here it was 14% 400 meters he's only doing 7 watts per kilo for 2 minutes and that at the end of the stage is not that impressive for these guys so again that's that's really where he lost most of the time uh, if we look at the overall time, so we compare it to 2019, uh, so Sepp Kuss was 40 seconds down on this segment, so that would put him at like 17.30, so he would have been faster than Pino. So Pino did a, a quick time in 2019, and they were a lot quicker today. About 30 seconds quicker uh, would be Poggy um, than Kuss if we took off 40 seconds. So, um, sorry, like 20 seconds quicker than Pino. So, so Poggy definitely had a quick day. It wasn't the hardest paced. Again, it, it could have been harder. There wasn't really, there was a lot of time where it was the same guys on the front for UAE. Um, we'll look at Albert, Albert Laurentzin, uh, who was one of my favorite guys. Um, and he says 19 minutes 54 for Gaudu, 19 minutes 56 for Bardet. Uh, it's around 6.6 .6 watts per kilo. Um, then Ufe says that he, Bardet did 412 on the short Plans de Belfi in 2017. Um, so Bardet had a power leak for a little bit and that was 6.6 .6, and now he's doing the same for 3 to 4 minutes and then the classic yes this was the level until 2019 was enough to win not in 2022 which is obviously insinuating 
the levels got a lot higher, which I think everyone accepts that the level has got higher. Why? No one knows. Um, but yeah, so the conclusion, what did Tally Pikachu do? Again, this is all theory. I don't think it was 6.6. I'm just, I just don't believe it is. Um, the numbers are good, but the draft on this climb is really, really big. If you look at Dan Martin's Twitter, he said the same thing. So I think in reality, it was probably more like 6.3, 6.4. And that was mainly just because the last part, like it's more a hard pace and then the last part so like when you saw him doing seven was per kilo kus doing seven was per kilo poggy would be doing like seven and a half maybe eight like that's the difference not on this part here like he's running 6.2 and then can do eight at the end of it which is the crazy part so altogether that adds up probably 6.3 6.4 but it's not the same it's not like he's doing a steady 6.4 or he's doing a 6.2 and attacking and then riding at 6.4 for a long time it's like nah it's just everyone's running at 6.2 for like 20 minutes 18 minutes and then the last two minutes is when it's when it really starts to go big and big licks and you can see here even like the last part it's not like who steps up a lot but anyway just watching hope you enjoy this this quick video about the numbers um and i'll see you in the next one